Hello, welcome to Chatting with Chitness. I'm Dr. Salil Chitness. I'm a pediatric emergency medicine physician, and we're going to be talking about pediatric medical education. We got a very exciting video, so let's get chatting. Today, we're going to talk about button batteries. If you guys don't know what these are, these are batteries. They usually are for watches, hearing aids, um, sometimes toys, but these are super, super dangerous for kids. Um, and we'll talk about it um, on this episode of Chatting with Chitna. So these button batteries, they come in all kinds of sizes. This one's really thin, this one's a little thicker. This one is real tiny. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's really, really tiny. When I went to go get it, I dropped it and it fell. It took me about five minutes to find, but you know who's gonna find it quicker than me? Your kid. And that's the danger with button batteries. Also, these little ones, they use in hearing aids. So grandparents, you gotta be careful if you leave your button batteries around. Um, a button battery ingestion is a medical emergency. You have to go to the emergency department right away if you feel that your kid has ingested a button battery. So why are these little tiny batteries so dangerous in a medical emergency? Well, there's two places that a kid can put this battery that will cause a lot of problems. The first place is in their nose, and I've seen it before, and what it'll do is the electricity in the battery will actually eat away at the tissue in your nose um, <clears throat> and cause like a whole bunch of problems for the rest of their lives. So if you suspect your kid has a button battery in their nose, please go to the emergency department. The second place where a button battery is dangerous is in the esophagus. So same thing with the nose, the battery will stick to the esophagus and it'll basically burn a hole straight through the esophagus and you don't want that. You want your food to stay in the esophagus, not come out in the chest. <clears throat> and if this happens and it's not caught early, this will be multiple surgeries for the rest of your child's lifetime, which you don't want. So um, if you suspect that your child ingested a button battery, the best thing to do is give them uh, as much honey as you, as you have in the house while you drive to the emergency department. So how do you know if your kid uh, ate a button battery or put a button battery in their nose? Well, it's really easy because these batteries are made out of metal and all metal shows up on an x-ray. So usually we just get an x-ray, it's very simple, quick, and it'll tell us exactly if there is a button battery and where there's a button battery. Um, if the button battery is past the esophagus, so it's in the stomach or beyond, you really don't have to worry. Our stomach is really strong. It handles acid way stronger than a button battery, so it won't cause any damage. And the same thing with the rest of our intestines. So what do we do if your kid put a button battery in their nose? We take it out. There's multiple tools, forceps, uh, balloons, all kinds of stuff, but we got to get it out. If they have ingested a button battery and it's stuck in their esophagus, they will have to go to the operating room and get it out. Um, there's different doctors that do this, uh, pediatric surgeons, pediatric ENT doctors, and pediatric uh, GI doctors will all take a camera with a little grabbing thing and they'll grab the button battery and take it out. Um, so that's all for button batteries. Um, you know, it's kind of crazy how these little things can cause so much harm. So please be careful. Keep them out of reach of your uh, children's hands. Um, and please leave comments so we can chat about it next time on Chatting with Chitness.